next step, injection and blow moulding. The bottle will be made into two stages, injection moulding and blow moulding. Recycled pellets are first mixed with virgin PET pellets coming from oil transformation. Each bottler chooses the mix between virgin and recycled pellets, between 0 and 100%. In France, it is an average of 15% of recycled PET that is used in all PET bottles. For Coca-Cola in France, it was an average of 28% in 2019. This mix influences the colour of the bottle. Because recycled PET is blue, whereas virgin PET is white. It is especially the case in France where most bottles we recycle are mineral water, often blue. Pellets are then worked along a screw and heated until they melt at 260 degrees Celsius. The melted material is injected at high pressure into a multi-cavity mould. A mould contains usually between 50 and 150 preforms. A robotic head then collects the preforms to cool and eject them. The whole process takes between 10 to 30 seconds. Preforms are then transported to the blowing hole located at the bottling site. For example, for Coca-Cola in France, preforms are blown at the Grigny plant. Preform passes through heater lamps before entering the mould which defines the shape of the bottle. A rod enters the preform and stretches it. Then a high pressure blast of air forces the preform into the blow mold, creating the bottle. On a commercial scale, 10,000 to 60,000 bottles can be created every hour. This allows us to call it from bottle to bottle recycling.